cool. They have the amazing Bejiatoa. The amazing Huatoa? They're a team of superheroes who thrive in extreme environments and consume toxic chemicals. Where do they live? California. Figures. Actually, these superheroes are from the Gulf of California, which is in Mexico. Uh-oh. Are these some more of your weird friends from the deep ocean? Yep. Want to meet them? No way. Welcome to the Gulf of California, Zach. We're in the Guaymas Basin, just over a mile deep. What do you think? Cold, dark, desolate. I know. Isn't it wonderful? If you're a Dumbo octopus, maybe. You're not going to find a lot of life down here, unless you run into one of those. Whoa! Isn't it amazing? It's like an underwater volcano. It's called a hydrothermal vent. That water you see coming out is over 700 degrees Fahrenheit. Yipes. How's that happen? Seawater flows into cracks in the Earth's crust and is heated up by geothermal activity deep underground. Minerals and other chemicals are dissolved in the superheated water as it rises to the surface. When the mixture comes into contact with the freezing cold seawater, many of the dissolved chemicals precipitate into solids. And over time, they form these giant towers. Towers that are made of minerals. Yep. These vent structures can grow hundreds of feet tall. Check this out. You mean all the trash? Oh yeah, that. Humans haven't explored much of the ocean, but their trash sure gets around. It's everywhere, even way down here. But we didn't come here to look at trash. Look up! Whoa! The superheated vent water rises and gets caught underneath these ledges and forms upside down pools. They're like mirrors. That's because the water in the pools is so different from the water around it. It's super hot and full of chemicals, so it refracts the light from your sub. Whoa. So, how is there so much life down here? Good question. That's where our superheroes come in. Let's take a closer look. What are we looking at? Meet the amazing Bejiatoa. These are your superheroes? What makes them so super? There's nothing on Earth like them. Bejiatoa are super resilient bacteria that can thrive in the most hostile environments on the planet. At the interface between the boiling hot and the freezing cold water, under intense pressure, around toxic chemicals, in complete absence of sunlight. Do they fight the forces of evil like other superheroes? They do something even more amazing. What's that? They can turn toxic chemicals into food. That is amazing. Remember when I explained the process of chemosynthesis? Uh, sort of. These bacteria use chemicals, like the sulfur coming out of this vent, as a food source. That's chemosynthesis. Right. Now I remember. The bacteria form the foundation of a food web that feeds other animals. It's a completely self-contained ecosystem that has evolved around hydrothermal vents. It even has central heating. We should be getting back to the comic book store. I want to pick up a copy of the amazing Bejatoa. Found yourself a new superhero, huh? All those other superheroes are boring compared to these guys. Yeah. What good is a superhero with x-ray vision anyway? What do you even do with x-ray vision? You could work at the airport. In blue tights and red underwear? Mm, maybe not. Maybe not.